So thank you for stopping by this Create Events platform. I welcome you to my channel. Today I will be teaching on this uh, stylish turban that you are seeing here. And to start, I will be starting with the base. I will be starting with the cap itself. So after the cap, I will be talking about the design. So because the cap is a body pleated turban, I started by rolling out the body pleats which will enable me to sew through all the lines that you are seeing there. If you want it to be very close, you use one inch. What I have there is one one inch. If you don't want it to be too close, you rule using uh, two two inches. So for me, I ruled this using a uh, one inch, but then it's just for explanation. Usually I do uh, two two inches. So when I start sewing now, you see how I am sewing. I'm just folding, uh, following the uh, line of the of the shock. I'm folding, following the line of the shock that you can see there. You know that is just how you do your body pleat. And one thing you need to know again is that the part you will be pleating will be the part that is most stretchy. The part that is very very stretchy that's the part you are going to um, use as the uh is it should i say the base or the front you understand there's a part you have to pass that cap through your head it must be very stretchy to enable the cap to pass freely since we are not uh separating any part of this cap with uh, uh we are not tying any part do you understand it's going to be a closed turban so you must check and make sure it's very stretchy Another very important thing is that the length of this material I'm using is 28 by 28. Is that okay? So the next one you are seeing on the next one you are seeing in my hand now is meant for the loop. Loop. So I'm using six inches for that. And then of course, whatever I'm using now will not finish it. So I'll be using a uh, six by nine six by nine i'm not going to finish it but just for me to have enough uh, length to work with so i'll just close it first after which i'll turn it over to the right side i'll turn it over to the right side and then when it is time i'll show you how i'll fix it so i'll just simply turn it over to the right side so if today is your first time stopping by this channel i welcome you this creative events platform and every of my tutorials here is going to be beneficial to you so uh if you are yet to subscribe i also encourage you to do that we are not paying anything it's just a way of telling youtube that you love what i am doing all right so the next one you are seeing on my hands there is what i want to use to create uh the the band and the band i'm looking out for is a, a cross band you know cross as in v front uh, band so i'm going to be working with the length i have showed you so the longest length i have there is 15 you can do 16 you can do 18 depending on how well you can cross you can use six inches for your uh width you can use eight inches something that you fold and you are comfortable with so for this one eight inches is perfect six is perfect but because i'm going to be adding something when i'm designing i wanted it bigger is that okay so to fix the loop you see i started by placing the loop on the band before placing the turban that's the only way you can achieve a very neat work you know it's not all about uh, just doing the work it's about getting something that is neat and it, it it can be competitive in the market you know it can compete with other products in the market not just making things that are too rough and all of that it will bring down your business and you will not be able to place a good price on them so you try as much as possible to do good work as you are doing your work try as much as possible to ensure that it's very neat so right now i am done uh, fixing the loop and you can see how it's looking so 
if you look at this uh, loop very well now you will see that a part of it is showing the line of the sewing and a part is not showing that part that is not showing the line of the sewing is the part that should be up and then the part that is showing the line should face down like you see it now that line should face down so it will have nothing to do with the turban anymore so you have to be conscious while placing it that's the reason i'm laying emphasis on that so to cross uh to use the loop the first thing i'm doing now is to use my loop to fold the turban together fold it together and then the first part you use in facing the loop has a little bit of excess you know so you fold it to meet up with that excess part and then you simply uh, stitch it together and then your loop is set what do i do to make this very neat one thing i do is every of my sewing you see there you can if you look at my side you see my weaving machine i like weaving them all to make it standard you understand so i'll instead of using my scissors to cut that part off i'll just simply use my uh, weaving machine and weave it so you can see how it is looking at this point the cross base i made sure that i centralized the loop you understand it's very important that the loop is centralized and then after which i'll come and uh fold yeah you can see it now how it's looking it's so neat but i'll come and now take the size of this uh of the head of the turban so usually a uh, human head basically is between 21 22 and 23 except for children where we can have 17 16 and that for smaller children self we have less than that you understand but for adults we have 21 22 or 23 so whenever i'm working i base my measurement on that so i work with either 21 or 22 so if you are going to fold 22 into two places or let me say 22 divided by 2 you know you'll be getting 11 and because this material is a stretchy one i do not work with 11 but i work with 10 or 10 and a half is that okay so i would really like you to like uh listen or concentrate on this part because i've seen a lot of people making mistake on this part so when i take my measurement from uh the band eh using 10 or 10 and a half you know i told you that this material is 28 by 28 I will then, which means when I fold it in total, I'll be getting 14. Is that okay? So I will sew to the very edge of that 14, maybe just leaving like half inch or one inch, if, if at all. If not, you don't even need to leave one inch. So immediately you use your 10 or 10 and a half, as the case may be, for the very base, for the very band there. You are expected to increase your side your size as you proceed so if you look at the thread i used in sewing now you see the movement of the thread from very small and it kept increasing until it almost finished the entire material and then i'll close the bottom part why i'm doing this is to enable this body pleat to fall at the back it should be able to rest at the back i see some people when they are done with their body pleat the body pleat is suspended on the top it ought not to be so so this is the mistake you are making i hope you correct yourself today just take the normal head measurement and after that keep increasing it and make it as wide as possible so that it can easily fall when your client finish wearing it there is beauty in it when it falls and relax at the back instead of it being uh, suspended at that back there so as much as possible i want that correction to be taken all right so um i am done with the cap i will just simply use a uh, loose stitches to like pull the uh, other parts together and that cap is ready so i want to go into the design the design i have the looks very uh what should i say looks very uh, gorgeous and looks very expensive but it's very very easy and in short it's not even expensive at all you understand so what i have to use for that design is 
are the Krilone and this Krilone I'm having here is a 3 inches Krilone. This 3 inches Krilone, uh, I'm just going to be using bias. I showed you a very small bias before. You can use your bias if you have uh, maybe what, uh, what they call that foot now, if you have your zipper foot. But if you do not have a zipper foot, it will be very difficult for you to work with that very small uh uh, bias. So what I'm using right now is not a bias, but I'm using Peter Sham uh, to like tape it round. So after taping it round, and there's another information I want to give, after taping it round, I'll just start folding it. But the length of the Krilone I used to be able to get that size or that quantity of bow that I folded was 12 yards. I will repeat, the length of the Krilone I used to be able to get that quantity of bowl on this turban is 12 yards, 12 yards of Krilone, which means if I am taping it with the Peter Sham, then it means I used 12 yards of Peter Sham as well. Is that okay? So 12 yards, because I actually wanted it to be very full, I find out that the beauty of this uh, style lies in the uh, fullness or quantity of the bowl that I, uh, I was able to create. So, while creating my bowl, I created about 13 bowl using that 12 yards. Do you understand? So, if you care to say what's the length you use in folding the bowl, simply do... 13 um 12 divide 12 years divide by 13 using your uh inches do you understand a yard is 36 inches of course so you do 36 inches times 12 then you will not say that uh value divide by 13 so it will give you the exact measurement i used to fold each one and again if you look carefully it's not like all of the bows are even as in they are not completely equal you know so after folding my bow the next thing i did was to get my needle and thread and then i stick it together using the needle and thread i held it very firm i always like uh, making sure that my work is firm because I don't want to disappoint my client. So whenever I'm doing my work, I want it to be very, very strong. So that no matter what they do with it, they wash it, they do anything with it, it will still be intact and it will worth the money that they've paid for it. So this is how the bow will look. It is your choice, whichever direction you want to place it, right or left, how far you want to place it. But I find out that in the placement, it is fine now when you place it like on a slant form, you know, you understand me, on a slant and should I call it eye corner so that you don't put it at the center. I don't think it would be fine if you centralize it. So it should be at the uh, eye corner side. So to cover my thread work there and also to serve as a kind of embellishment, I used... Um, what they call this now um i'm sorry sorry for the name bias it's not by trimming yeah i use a golden trimming i use a golden uh trimming and then i'll simply to fix this golden trimming to it i'll be using the hot glue if you do not have the hot glue you can simply use the uh uhu glue yes gum uhu gum to like uh, fix it there but if you have the hot glue you can also use the hot glue so i simply use the hot glue to attach it to that part after which i'll simply fix it to my turban and then i'll do the uh, remaining embellishment for you to see i do hope you enjoyed today's class though the video is still on but i at this point i want to like uh stop talking you understand so that you just watch the remaining part if you have any uh question any complaint you understand and most of all if you have any uh style you feel ah you want to know 
and you've not seen the video just send it to me you can use my whatsapp number you can uh send it even on my comment uh section i will see them and by the grace of god i will respond to them so thank you so much for stopping by and if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please do well to do so before leaving today thank you so much i appreciate you all just keep watching the video and do have a nice day love you